Bruce in Batman v Superman is a very interesting character when it comes to motivation. He has two motivational themes going on in the movie. The first being his strong need to kill Superman and the second one is the fact that he loses the motivation to be a good Batman and he starts killing people. The good news is that we can learn from both sides of Batman's motivation so that we can feel more motivated to reach our fitness goals or other goals we want to achieve. So here are 4 ways to get the motivation like Batman. We're gonna start with his motivation to kill Superman and then we're gonna talk about his motivation to be the good Batman again. And obviously we don't want motivation to kill Superman but it's just his motivation that we can learn from. The first way to get motivation like Batman is by applying a method I like to call doubling the why. In this movie the reason why Batman is so dedicated to working out is because he aligns working out with the bigger purpose. Bruce doesn't just want to look and feel good, no, he needs to kill Superman. And getting strong is quite of a requirement for that. So he is very motivated to work out as he has a huge reason why that isn't just centered around his body. And you can apply this too. You can create a bigger why by connecting fitness to your other goals in life. So maybe you have a job in a suit and looking fit can give off a good impression. Maybe your goal is to improve your mental health and you think being healthy is a part of that. My way of this is the fact that I have a channel called Superhero Motivation, teaching superhero fans to get fit. So when I'm working out it feels like I'm working on my channel instead of just my body. So whatever your goals in life are, you can double your motivation by connecting fitness to those goals. Now we have a strong motivation, but motivation isn't enough for us to stay true to our goals. We also need good habits. And one of the best habit builders we can learn from Batman is by using contingency plans. You can be motivated, but if you don't have contingency plans for those cravings on Sunday, you're going to fall flat. Batman showcases this very well. If he just relied on his motivation and will to kill Superman, he would have lost in the first round. But he prepares for the worst case scenario and he visualizes the fight in a realistic way. You see him having the whole fight with Superman planned out and because of this he is winning. This is logical but it crosses our minds a lot because when we feel motivated it feels like that motivation is gonna be there forever. But just because you are motivated for a period, for a period of time doesn't mean you won't have cravings on a Sunday afternoon. But if you can prepare for those cravings, you are much more likely to stick with it. So if you happen to overeat when you are in a bad mood, you can tell yourself, if I am in a bad mood, I will instead call a friend to feel better and eat a healthy snack. Or if I don't feel like working out, I will watch a motivational video. Hopefully one of my videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless you want to, but uh, back to the point. When you have a game plan, you're much more likely to pull through because you already have an answer beforehand. So you're not stuck into the decision making whether or not you want to give in. So overall, contingency plans are a great way of habit building. Now those are two powerful ways to gain more motivation, but at some point we do lose motivation for our goals and don't feel like sticking with it. That is why we're going over to the other side of Batman's motivation, which is him losing the motivation to be the Batman he is meant to be. So here are two ways to gain motivation back when you don't feel like going through with it anymore. The first way is to look back at what you've already accomplished instead of relating your current actions to your identity. In this scene, Alfred confronts Bruce by his wrong actions as Batman. Bruce responds by relating it to his identity. New rules. We're criminals, Alfred. We've always been criminals. Nothing's changed. Oh, yes it has, sir. 
He is so caught up by his bad actions that he thinks it's his identity. And this is very present with people who are unmotivated. We look at our past decisions and think they determine us. So we start to say, I'm always just a lazy person so working out and dieting isn't for me. And to fix this, Alfred has a perfect response for us that can help us stay motivated. Watch as Bruce goes further into thinking that he never was a good Batman and that he hasn't done anything good. I'm older now than my father ever was. This may be the only thing I do that matters. 20 years of fighting criminals amounts to nothing. What Alfred says here is a very good motivation method and it's to acknowledge the times where you did work hard on your goals. This is why it's very useful to keep track of your progress because it's a visual representation of the fact that you did pull through, how much you have accomplished and that it's also still possible right now. So when you feel like giving up, you can just look at your notes and realize that you can still do it. But Bruce is in such a bad state that even this can't help him. He denies that he has done any good. But what actually gets him to change, what actually gives him the motivation to be the Batman he is meant to be, is the pain and pleasure method. In his book Awaken the Giant, Tony Robbins says the secret to having success is learning to use pain and pleasure instead of having pain and pleasure use you. Here's a brief summary of this mindset. When you start to associate a lot of emotional pain to inaction and the fact that you're not moving towards your goal, you become more motivated to change. And when you combine that with associating pleasure to action, like the feeling of pride and personal growth after you achieve your goal, it works even better. Batman has an incredible example of this theory. In the Martha scene, Batman witnesses his worst case scenario. His worst case scenario is him becoming the murderer that killed his parents. And that is going on right now when he is about to kill Superman. He becomes the person he swore to stop. Save Martha! So there's a tremendous amount of pain linked to his inaction and him remaining as a brutal Batman. So that pain takes him out of it and gets him to change. But then he goes through the pleasure experience when he says this line. My mother neither. Wait. I promise, Martha won't die tonight. So now he's linking pleasure to action, which is him changing into the Batman he is meant to be. The Batman that was created to save Martha. And by doing that, there is a sense of growth, character development and pride which is basically pleasure if we had that. So the way we can apply this for our goals is by also linking pain to inaction and asking yourself, what will this ultimately cost me if I don't achieve this goal? If you want to lose weight, you can visualize your whole life feeling insecure and unhappy when you don't take action. And then linking pleasure to action, we can start to associate feeling amazing and happy if we push through and start to get in shape. Yeah. Big change. Pain and pleasure are one of the strongest emotions that can motivate you. So definitely do keep these emotions in mind when working on your goal. Now Batman's character arc is completed when Superman sacrifices himself for the world. He gets motivation to be a good hero again by getting inspired by another hero. And this is also one of the reasons why this channel exists. Because showcasing heroes doing the right thing gives us motivation that we can do it too. So if you want to get that motivation and feeling of inspiration regularly, subscribe to this channel so that you feel regularly inspired to reach your goals. Alright guys, that is all for today. I hope you got inspired by this video. If you did, drop me a like. Let me know what your favorite inspirational moment from Batman v Superman is. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.